Applications of differential calculus, page 7. When a manufacturer makes x items per day, the cost function is this. The price function is this per item. Find the production level that will maximize profits. Okay, so we have uh, two main variables. One is the profit, and then one is the number of items we make per day. So they're saying figure out the optimum x so that the profit is maximum. So, first of all, um, to find the profit, we need to use the uh, price per item and the cost uh, function. And um, in the case of the profit, we always find the profit by, um, and for profit, I'm going to use the, the letter big P. And the big P is going to be the the price per item multiplied times the item sold and then uh, we're going to subtract the cost function and the cost function is not per item the cost function is um, is already like has the it considers the number of items made okay so we're going to have the p function times x, so it would be x times 15 minus 0.002x. And then we're going to subtract the cost function, which is going to be 720 plus 4x plus 0.02x squared. Okay, and so let's see what big P is equal to. It's equal to 15x minus 0.002x squared minus 720 plus, oh not plus 4x, minus 4x, because we've got to distribute this minus sign, and then minus 0.02x squared. So let's combine the like terms. For example, the x squared terms we have here and here. So it would be negative 0.02 plus negative 0.002, so it would be negative 0.022x squared. The x term would be minus 4x and... 15x, so that would be plus 11x, and then we have minus 720. Okay, and and then we're going to find the first derivative, so that we can find the stationary points, and this and it's going to be um, negative 0 0.022 times 2 times x plus 11. And uh, so that's going to be negative 0.044x plus 11. Okay, and then uh, we're going to find the stationary points, so we set that equal to 0. And then, so that means, um, let's see, 11 divided by 0 0.044, 250. So the optimum point is x equals 250. Uh, 250 items. Now let's just make sure that that is, uh, maximizes P and doesn't minimize P. We can find that by taking the second derivative of, uh, the profit function, and that gives us negative 0 0.044. So that means it's always, um, concave down. So that means that the, uh, the, um, stationary point is indeed a maximum. Okay. All right, moving on. Number three, a manufacturer can produce X fittings per day where X is between zero and 10,000. The production costs are uh, 10,000 per, uh, 1,000 per day, 1,000 euros per day, plus two per day per fitting. So let's say the number of fittings is X, so two X, plus 5,000 euros divided by X per day for running cost and maintenance. Okay, so that's our uh, cost function, the cost function. And then how many fittings per day to minimize the cost function? Okay, so let's uh, see when the cost function, uh, the first derivative of the cost function would be. So that would be 2 plus, and then this is 5,000 times x to the negative 1. So we could take the uh, derivative here, and we would have negative 1 times 5,000 x to the negative 2. Um, and, and then we'd set that equal to zero. 
And that would give us 2 is equal to 5,000x squared. And then we'll say x squared is equal to 5,000 divided by 2, which is equal to 2,500. And so x is equal to uh, 50, right? Okay, so x is equal to 50. Now, is that minimizing the production cost? How can we make sure that we're minimizing the production cost? We could take the second derivative. If we take the second derivative, we'll get uh, second derivative of negative 5,000. And then we'll, we'll um, do the power rule. And so that gives us uh, 10,000 x cubed, okay? And so, uh, and we know that x is a positive number. If x is a positive number, then uh, the second derivative is always positive, which means that it's concave up, which means that the stationary point is a minimum. Okay, and that's what we want, right? So the x equals 50 is a, is a minimum. So that we're okay. Number five, the cost of running a boat is... Um, v squared over 10 plus 22 per hour, I guess this is pounds, right? Where v uh, kilometers per hour is the speed of the boat. Find the speed which will minimize the total cost per kilometer. This is a pretty tricky one. Now, um, remember, this is like cost, uh, cost per hour, right? And uh, what we want to know is um, cost per kilometer, right? Cost per kilometer. How do we get cost per kilometer? Cost per kilometer would be cost per hour, and then it would be hours per kilometer. So, wait a sec, what's kilometers per hour? It would be V, right? So it would be cost per hour uh, divided by V. So actually it would be V squared, oops, v squared divided by 10 plus 22 divided by v. So that would be uh, v divided by 10 plus 22 divided by v. Uh, so that is the cost per kilometer. And we want to take the first derivative of that to see if there's a local minimum or a maximum. So that would be 1 tenth plus uh, negative 22v uh, squared. I did the power rule there. Um, and then I set that to zero to see if I can find a, a stationary point. And so it would be 22v squared equals 0.1. And then v squared is equal to uh, 22 divided by 0 0.1, which is 220. And then v is equal to the square root of 220, which is 14.8 kilometers per hour. Okay? And that's a pretty hard to understand problem. I had to look at the book to understand how to do that. So don't worry if uh, that was kind of hard.